Hi everyone. So I had a really fun idea. I saw this really cool Instagram post where she was wearing thigh high white boots and I'm in love. I really wanted those. Unfortunately, the person who made them no longer sells them. I don't think the person is like has a store anymore. So I figured the only alternative was to figure out how to make them because why would I not look for an easier way and just buy them? Yeah, okay, anyway, I thought I would put my hand in and figure out how to make some boots. Now, I did some research and I figured out that the easiest way is to make a fabric pattern. Apparently that's easy, so... Let's find out together how we do it and uh, let's get on to it. Okay, so we're going to be making a pattern for our boot. The idea is to take two separate pieces of fabric, I'm just using some leftover strips of calico, and then pinning them together. I started by pinning roughly the top part before making a little bit narrower, trying to keep it as even as I can on both the left and the right side. It's a little bit hard, but I was just kind of eyeing it, basically, as you tend to do. Okay, so this is what we are currently at. I have gone ahead and pinned around her leg and around the foot. I have positioned her foot to be slightly bent because I do want to see if I can possibly attempt to add a heel. I don't know how yet, but we will figure that out later. For now, what I am guessing is the next step is we're going to be outlining where we pinned. Um, especially making sure to get like this curved bit properly and then we'll take it off and we'll refine it so I have two colored pens this is blue this is red so I can actually try to refine it and see if I did it kind of even um, because that's really the important bit because then I can have just one side and then we can continue on to our practice Now, this is the side that I actually want, and I will trace out the other side as well, but this one does go a bit on the shorter side, and I do like this length, uh, but this is just going to be for reference to see if I got it even. Uh, we have, this is trial and error, this is the first time I'll be making like an actual fabric shoe or boots in this case since the other one was made from craft foam and that was without a proper pattern so i am actually attempting to do this really well i also want to put this one uh, this pattern if it turns out well i will also put this on my kofi so that you guys can also make your own thigh high boots or shorten them to be wherever you want them to be so just a short boot, a high boot, a knee high boot or a thigh high boot. So yeah, that is fully up to you. But the first step is to get this pattern. And that means I actually have to spend some time making it. So yeah. This is what we are at, and yes, this does have a center front seam, that was the idea behind it. Um, I can try later on, see if we can get one of those pieces that has just a different boot, and then this is one piece. So that way we can work with like a pattern. But let's actually see if I can get it off here without taking the pins out, because that would be really good. No. So I actually made a really tight fitting around the heel, which is probably something I should have thought of before. But then I do want it to be tight fitting. I think I need like a little bit of extra room here. Um, so I'm gonna try that.
Okay, so it's kind of funny because I feel like this definitely has a bit of a better shape where this is a bit more curved. Um, I will prioritize cleaning this one up here and then I will flip it over and see how accurate we are. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go in, grab a ruler and a pen. Now this one does have some curves, so I might be able to refine a couple of the sharper curves um, and try and get that a bit cleaner. So let's just do that now. Okay, and that is what we are currently looking like. So I'm going to cut this out and then add some seam allowance. Actually, I might be able to. I'll add some seam allowance now and now I'll put it onto another pattern piece and we'll uh, see how it goes. After making that pattern piece, I did go back to make a trial run and this is where we are at. Here's a little update. So I've just flipped it inside out and I fitted it and it actually fits quite well and snug around the foot here. Just got to get it in there. I've sewn it up to here so that she can still get it on with the idea of having like a closure there of a zipper or uh, the lace up like I mentioned before if I have this properly on there and just pull it nice and tight I have my seam allowance left over which will give me the room for the zipper or any other closure and I'm just pulling this really weirdly now but that actually does lay quite nicely so I think I'm just gonna try it get like a good fabric or something Add a zipper and see if it works, and then uh, add a sole, a sole, and like something of a heel. So, yeah. Now, I did actually put a zipper in the trial boot, but I never ended up filming that. And the zipper ended up working, it was just really bulky. Anyway, after that trial, I ended up making my socks. You can find the uh, video, I will link that here as well. Anyway, uh, the socks were basically a trial as well as the fact that I just really wanted to make socks. But this pattern was being tested out to see how it would work without a zipper. Okay, so this is the pattern that I made to create the boots. Gave it a little bit of extra room here as you can see. Just so that I can give the zipper some more room. Now the zipper that I want to use is actually a bit small. <laughs> so I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. Either find a longer zipper in my stash or just see if I can do it with a small zipper. We'll uh, figure that out. The thing is that if this was a stretch fabric I probably wouldn't need a zipper. But I have this leather that I want to use and this leather doesn't have stretch or it's like a faux leather by the way not a real. So yeah, I really do think we're gonna need some uh, thing in there. We'll figure that out. But for now, I'm just gonna cut out my pieces. So I'm gonna need for one boot, two of these. So we're gonna have uh, four of these. Let's just get to cutting.
Okay, so I had a good think and a good search. These are the only zippers I have. I've got a whole bunch of them, but they are too short. Now, the store that I would normally get them at is closed for at least like, a, let's say, a month. It's a long time. I don't know exactly how long. And I don't feel like waiting because I want to make it now. You get my drift? So there's two things I can do. The first is use the zipper. And I assume this is going to be one of those bits where I need it most. But then you kind of want to close up the top. So yeah, we're going to have to see. So, and the other thing is that I can do is just sew this all the way around with a slightly narrower seam. And hope, for life's sake, that it fits. Now, neither of them are really ideal, so the idea is I'm gonna start sewing the center front to about here, leaving the whole back open. Then I'm going to hem the top there, and we're gonna see what if uh, like how it fits. What if I add the zipper here? What if I sew it up at the zipper here? What if I don't add a zipper? So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead sew it and Because this is leather or faux leather you do see the little holes that you make in them So you want to protect the fabric as much as possible. That is why I didn't pin only into the seam allowance So I've got these handy little clips Going to be lining them up put the clip on and that's basically it. But for now, we're going to be sewing all the way around here to that point. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be sewing around the book. We're going to be going from around the heel bit all the way around to the front, leaving the back open. So by sewing the front first, we can do a hem so that it's nice and finished in the front, especially. So we're just gonna go do that right now. Oh, here we go. Mm, I should really have marked this, but we'll mark it on the next bit. to hemming so as you can see this is what I've sewn this is what it's looking like now the hem allowance is going to be around two centimeters so what I want to do is separate this and make it as flat as I can we will be uh, clipping these curves later by the way the curves in here for now we're just going to go ahead and hem so we're going to flatten that out and now I am going to just quickly mark out where one centimeter is and where two centimeters are so I can fold it inwards. Uh, let's see, let's put that right there. This is going to be quite bulky, so if you 
don't want to have the double fold like that, you can of course just fold it down once. That is completely fine too. Um, you can also add like a little bit of a lining piece down there so you can do the double fold if that's what you want to do. I will just do the double fold since I like that look a little bit more. And now we're going to be sewing a nice little line at the bottom and I'm probably gonna end up doing a line at the top since I do like that look. But we'll see how it looks before I actually do that. So just one line at the bottom here first. Making sure that this stays nice and flat. Okay. Okay, so now that we have the top finished of two of the boots, it is time to figure out how we're going to close it. If we're just going to close it by sewing it, if we're going to add a zipper, if we're going to add laces, you know, the whole thing. Basically, what I want to do first is cut into the curves of the boot, just so that we can see how it's going to fit. So... Just going to cut straight into it just like that do not cut through your stitches or you'll be wanting to sew that again and you'll hate yourself for it because i've done that plenty of times so just going to be cutting straight in now in this rounded piece of the wood since this is such a strong sturdy fabric i will actually be trimming the seam allowance down But because with the sewing, it is easier to have more room with the sewing. Just doing a few up here as well. Now, going to go straight in there and cutting through. You can of course do this before the snipping bit too, so you don't have these tiny pieces. But it doesn't really matter. So I've got Izzy here. Now, normally for fit test you would turn it inside out, but I just want to see if it can fit if I just sew it straight closed, like I did with these socks. So let's just get her foot in there. Okay, so it's already obvious to me that I'm gonna need the zipper here because otherwise I won't be able to get her heel through. And it looks like I've closed it up a little bit too much here. There we go, I've got it. And then it's just like that. So what I'm actually thinking is I can add the zipper up to where it's needed and then sew the rest close. Since I do have the room here, Okay, so adding the zipper, I'll probably end up putting the whole thing in there since I can't be bothered cutting it down. But I'm just going to be starting, this is where I've sewn up to. I'm just going to be putting the zipper slightly lower. And I mentioned the pins before and now I will use them since I do need this to be precisely in place. Plus, as long as I don't end up putting it like in the middle here, it is fine since it's in the seam allowance. Just make sure to take your time and uh, make sure you place the pins in the right spots so you don't actually have to sew it again or anything. Um, by the way, this is an invisible zipper that I've got. We'll see if I actually end up trying to make it invisible. Uh, but since this, this is like the leather 
and it's curvy and it's already such a difficult thing, I may not, but we'll see. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just gonna leave that open uh, until I finally end up deciding. There we go. And that's just gonna go right like that. And now we just need to line it up and do the same on the other side. This is a little bit more difficult. Why do I like making my projects so difficult for myself? That's what I wonder too. But I really do hope that this turns out well. And yes, I'm making these in black, but I do still want to make them in white at some day. At some day, some point, some day, some point, same thing. Um, but for now, I do have a really fun outfit planned with this. I uh, want to make a little bike jacket. I'll put a picture on the screen. But I want to make like a biker jacket, leather jacket looking thing with these boots and a cute little skirt. Because I think a skirt might look a little bit nicer. Let me know if you'd like to see something like that because I'd love to make it. So I've just finished pinning the edges there. And now I don't know what to do. Let's just move the needle to the other side. There. Vicious pressing of buttons. Oh, yeah. Move the needle, but then also move the foot. That would be handy. Probably should have figured that one out before. It's gonna go right to the edge where the zipper will close. Now, just gonna cut all of these extra threads off before they get stuck in the zipper when I try to zip it up. So, this is what we are currently looking at for the boot. And now we just need to finish closing it up. And uh, let's find out how it looks. Okay, turning the boat inside out is definitely not going to be easy. Plus, uh, my fabric is uh, kind of giving up on me, so... Let's just hope that on photos you don't see that. I did not expect that. Okay, let's just zip it up. And this is what it's looking like. <laughs> I just hope that it looks better in uh, on the doll than it does right now. Um, we are not finished yet, of course. We do need to add a sole, so I just need to get that point out a little bit more. Okay, so I am going to flip the other boot inside out, get my work bench cleaned up, and then I will see you to do the sole. Okay? 
So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so you may be wondering why are there a pair of sandals, sandals, whatever you want to call them, on the table? The thing is that I thought I could use the foam to create her little foot uh, thing. So the idea is that I wanted to create like a little heel and this is the right size that if I can shave it down then it is perfect. So um, let's just try it out. So quite honestly, I thought this was going to be easier than it actually was, especially the whole cutting out process was so much harder than I anticipated, and I really hoped it would look neater, perhaps my knife wasn't uh, sharp enough, I don't know, but this was definitely harder than I imagined, so keep that in mind if you do want to follow this. Also, keep safety precautions in mind, uh, since this is, you're working kind of with an odd shape, sharp objects, you know, keep it, keep that in mind. Okay, so I've got two pieces, they are looking really, really rough. I do want to try use a bit of sandpaper just to smooth out the edges there. Um, we'll see how it looks and then we will be shaping down the the top bit so that we get like a slope idea but for now I just want to try and see if I can get a bit smoother Okay, so these are the pieces that I came up with. They do not look very neat or anything, but I am pretty happy with how they actually ended up. Okay, basically, this is how I want them to go. Now, there is like a little bit of extra room that make it look like the shoe is quite small. So I don't know, <laughs> I think I might just have to do another one. So yeah. Anyway, these are the pieces. They will go on just like that. Get the heel in there, put the foot on. Now this one is going white, so I do need to trim that down. Like this is better. Uh, gotta get the right foot on there. That one there. That fits a bit better. Um, yeah i was thinking though of possibly since this edge is just really bothering me i was considering going around the whole bit with a piece of leather and then trimming that down so that we have a nice finish so i think i might do that 